Hi, this is Chris with Ignite Studio, and today I'm going to demonstrate our DIY project of the month for April, and that's our macrame uh, hangers for our seed starts that you can find in the seed library. Uh, of course, you don't have to get seeds from our seed library. You can use any plants you might have at home. Um, but I'm going to demonstrate sort of how you make these using string. And the package you'll be able to pick up in Ignite Studio, they're going to include the string. And that's just some heavy-duty twine. You'll have three pieces of that, and those are 48 inches long. You'll also pick up your lovely little clay pot and then you'll pick up a key ring. The things you'll need at home would be a pair of scissors and then also a ruler. And if you can, it's best if you can sort of uh, hang your project on like a nail or uh, on a bulletin board so your hands are free when you're doing the actual knotting of the piece. Okay, so let's get started. So basically, I've got my key ring here and then I also have my string. So what I'm going to do is line up all the ends of the string just to make sure that these all match up, which they do. And then we're putting this key ring in the middle midpoint here of the string. So I'm just going to sort of pull that through and make sure that both sides are hanging at the same length here. And these are sort of curly, so I like to kind of pull them. Okay, that looks good. So now what we're dealing with, instead of the three, we have six strings. And I'm going to knot all six strings very close to the top of the key ring, as close as possible as you can get it. A good way to tighten is just to pull each string individually. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm going to attach the key ring to my bulletin board, and you would be attaching this to whatever you have handy. So I'm obviously doing this on a table, but you can do it so the string is hanging down vertically. All right. I'm now going to separate my six strands here into groups of two. And you want the two strands that are closest together. Okay, so there's my groupings. And I'm gonna just sort of put these away from me and lay my first two strings out. And I want to use my ruler here, and I want there to be about nine inches between my top knot and my next knot here. So I'm starting at two, so I'm gonna go, okay, so that's nine inches, so 11 minus two, I've got nine inches there. And so I'm gonna knot, so I'm just gonna put my fingers there and make my first knot, okay. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so then instead of measuring the next two, I'm just gonna be sure that I'm knotting it to where it is even with my first knot. Okay, those three look pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take a string from each adjacent pair. So I'm gonna go below the knot I just made here. And I'm gonna go about two and a half inches below. So that's gonna be at about 14 inches on here, okay. And then I'm gonna, again, I'm just gonna knot those. This is your first time doing this. Things may not be perfect, so don't worry about that. It takes a little bit of practice to get all of these sort of lined up. Okay, and then I'm going to, again, take the adjacent strings and 
knot those using my first one as a guide. Okay, and then my last set. Okay. Those line up pretty well. And then for our last knot, we're going to take all six strings, and then we want this to be about an inch and a half below that last knot. Okay, so here we have our knotted macrame hanger. So for this very last part, the very bottom knot, a good way to tighten that is to again, go string by string. And that just makes it really nice and secure. And then we're gonna take our pot so that large knot is going to go sort of at the very base. And I'm going to pull these around. And there we have it. A little macrame hanger for our seed starts. So this, uh, the seed library will be open during April. Um, will have been open actually for a while. Um, so feel free to go up there and pick up some seeds um, for your garden or to start your own little plant. And then if you do make one of our macrame hangers, be sure and uh, post it or let us know on one of our social media platforms. And if you have time, you can always come down to Ignite and make it here and watch the video in our space. We hope to see you then. Thanks.